hello <laughs> so bright i hope the sun sets pretty soon because it's so bright out here come on keek One, two, three. here we are kiki and me here perhaps for the last time in a while so i have a very important message to tell you you are a divine infinite human being you are all that is, ever has been, and ever can be. Your divine infinite love, your divine infinite truth, your divine infinite source. You are so powerful, powerful beyond belief. And I want to say hi to those of you that are still in lockdown. We're out of lockdown here in Italy, but I felt called to continue my transmissions since I started that gosh it's the beginning of March it's almost June <laughs> here in Italy when it first started and I felt first of all I have been writing a book about all this and um, was content to just you know be on my own out here in uh, Italy Sicily where I moved to to get away from 5g <laughs> And, um, let's see if anybody's joining me. And I felt called, you know, during this, my computer went down. It was, <laughs> it was attacked. Twice it was attacked. And so I had, every, I couldn't talk to anyone because I couldn't, you know, everyone was hidden away. And every, hi, hi, everyone was being mu muzzled. So I felt I had no way to express all this information that I had and had been researching and had for such a long time. So I began doing these live videos. And I began, then I began a, a group called No More Lockdowns. So I felt called to do this. And guess what? Um, everything has been so censored. David Icke was so censored. Anyone that has gone against the narrative has been so censored. And I just felt I really needed to continue because I know a lot of people have been really um, upset by some of the posts, some of the things I've said. But you know what? This is the time for the red pill suppository. <laughs> this is the time because... God, the rabbit hole is steeper than you can even imagine. Every day I go even deeper. And it's deep within us, all right? It really is. So I think hopefully anyone that's listening to this is beginning to realize that, that this planet, which is called Maya. Hi there, Linda. Oh, hi. I sent you an a, um, email. I put you on my mailing list. Oh, ciao. I don't have my glasses, guys. But... um. Oh, child, Roseanne, hey, guys. <laughs> I'm kind of doing this as my last transmission for a while because several things, like I said, I really felt called to really put stuff out there, and I just became a vigilante because um, I had been researching this for over 30 years, and I had a lot of information, and I was writing it in my book, and my computer went down, and I couldn't talk. I was felt muzzled, and I just saw the censorship that was at criminal happening all over the planet so I've been very very active ever since March and I've continued this because I know you know I feel like until the last person is out of lockdown <laughs> and then of course lockdown is just you know the pandemic can happen anytime they want to because now they have the 5g in place which is a uh, and they can test it and create all kinds of havoc whenever they want to so um, but I felt called to really be a vigilante and I did for, for gosh, it's been almost three months now, March, April, May. And now, well, basically I got a sign from Facebook that they were probably going to terminate my account. Um, my Tumblr blog was terminated and my YouTube channel has been censored, which, you know, I'm, so what I've done is I'm writing my book now. I've gone back to that. And then also because of the 5G, I have to get all the metal out of my mouth. So tomorrow I'm going back to the dentist to have <laughs> teeth pulled. So I probably won't be, t t I, I'm kind of going to take a break right now from, from Facebook and, um, you know, kind of forcibly so. But of course, 
you know, I never stop. I'm just uh, like water moving in another direction. And I do am getting very much, as I write, I channel information. And I think these next 10 years, 20, 20 to 20, 30, we're all, we all agreed to be here for these 10 years. They're very powerful years. They're very pivotal years. And we really need to hold our course and stay focused and not be tricked or uh, sold a bad copy because this is our time. This is for us to ascend, to return to our true infinite human nature. It's, it's, it's here. All the, all the work has been laid. Here I am watching the sunset in my beautiful little Sicily. And they're just trying to interfere with that. And they're running a very powerful, strong, heavy armory game right now, as you have seen. But this, you know, and they might have won this one, this um, battle, but they have, they, I, they will not win the war because divine, infinite source, God, organic creation is the true, true structure of the universe. And they're inverted bad copies, technological finite systems are no match for the infinite and and you know nature will prevail it will so um it might look dark right now for many of you i have many and i just want to know that if you're a spiritual person or what i call star seeds you might not even know it yet but this hopefully will be a catalyst for you to awaken because you came here for this and the problem with star seeds, which are highly evolved souls that incarnated here, it's kind of like a prison break. They incarnated incognito. But the problem is the dark side knows more about us than we know about ourselves because we've had our memory erased. We don't remember who we are, which is part of the deal that you have to succumb to to get onto this prison planet. And the problem is that you have been so sabotaged. I mean, first of all, if, you, if you're born and you don't remember other lifetimes you've had, right there you know. You, you just weren't born. You just didn't come out of anywhere. You, you, this is a huge universe out there. It's a long story of creation. And I'm put, remembering all of my lifetimes. They're coming as you begin to awaken. And you can put things together. And, and in my book, I'm telling my story and I'm putting all my lifetimes together. And how, that's why there are so many people, if you find like homeless people or nomadic people or people who are in mental hospitals, those are usually the brightest souls, the brightest lights. And the darkness goes towards that light and tries to dim it. So a lot of times you think you're crazy. Am I crazy? You know, I feel like I'm being attacked. Everything's going wrong. I had bad, a bad year. I had bad luck. My health is bad. It's created on purpose. So it takes First of all, waking up and learning how to move through this uh, these attacks and this manipulation. I remember at first I thought, well, am I paranoid? You know, because I had met someone who was teaching me this and showing me, you know, this. And I realized, oh, my God, you know, I was on all these pharmaceutical drugs and, you know, depressed and bipolar and blah, blah, blah. And I got myself off of it because out of it, you know, because I realized I had just been hijacked. I had had my will, you know, I'd given it up myself. I'll, I'll take responsibility, but it's very sneaky. It's very insidious. And that's what we're facing right now because the only power they have over you is the power you give to them. So this is when, you know, you have to reach down deep inside. And I always use the dark side because I say, you know, the old saying, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. And, you know, I'm going through, uh, as many of you are, it's a time to reach down deep inside of your shadow self, bring it up into the light. Right, Kiki? And Kiki says yes. And, you know, bring it out to the light. Bring it into the sun. You transmute it with love, with love, with love. So I say I love the dark side. Bring it out. <laughs> and I have been so attacked. You have no idea. But, you know, you know I, 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 but that's just the duality, is, which is an illusion. All right? Right now, it seems like, you know, fighting, fighting for our rights, fighting against these one world order, the 1%, the, 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 the Bill Gates, whatever the names are. And it goes much deeper than that, guys. That's just this you know that's just a little bit 
It's so deep. But the thing is, you don't have to fight. You just have to remember how powerful you are. And then you rise above the duality. That's why I'm in, I'm in see, Sicily. And I realized why I was sent here. Sicily is a triangle. And you know you, the pyramid, a magic triangle powerful why because when you have just duality it's two you know against each other but the minute you bring it up into a third a trinity you know a trifold energy which is what this energy is all about it's the trinaga you know it's the trifold then you take it out of duality you raise yourself above duality and i used to call it like a pendulum you know but down below, it's swinging back and forth, good, bad, right, wrong. But at the top, it's peaceful, it's still. And that's where we need to be during all this. We need to be in this neutral, passive, observatory place and watching this, this story unroll, this game, this great film. Boy, great sci-fi film. <laughs> sci-fi. <laughs> Tell me about it. They've been preempting programming us for a long time now. But it's fascinating. It's fascinating if you watch it unfold and don't get caught up in the trauma, but do observe what's happening. Do as an awakened one, you know? As we say here in Sicily, I've been telling the Sicilians, occhio, occhio, I, I, I. Pay attention to what's going on. Start seeing because it's so strange. Once you wake up, one, looking at those um, stereograms that look just like flat um, computer generated uh, images and then if you look at them with soft eyes and go deeper into the three dimensional aspect they become like butterflies or polar bears or anything that's looking with your third eye and that's why the third eye has been the most um, hijacked you know uh, part of your body because it gives you this ability to see above things I remember when I was young you know there was this this image you look at it, it looked like a young woman and you looked again and it was an old hag so it's like right now perhaps you've been looking at the world through the eyes that everyone's taught you you know governments taking care of you the police are protecting you the health care is healing you the educational system is good and you need to get your degree and you'll get a good job you know and it's it's falling apart we're as, as soon as you can shift from seeing this pretty young woman and you can see the old hag you know you have both perceptions and you cannot be scammed and that's what you're doing right now you're learning to see to see with your third eye you're learning to see and that's the beauty of this whole experience oh my battery's running down so <laughs> love you guys so much i'm so glad you're here and um Please let's stay in touch because my next move I'm getting is we really need to gather together those who have this, who can see, see, see. I don't need spiritual people who are just going to meditate and love and love and love and light. And then they get caught up. Well, Kiki's giving you, a, a licking you, giving you Kiki kisses. <laughs> You know, and then get caught up in the, you know, in, in all the, the, the scams that they're running, you know, because those kind of people are, are they're, all their energy is being fed on. It's being, it's being hijacked into the wrong causes. And that's been happening on this planet for so long. So what we need is, is awakened people who know, the, who can see the, you know, in the different, the, the scam, who can see the old woman behind the pretty young woman. And so then we can create new structures outside of this, this co-opted um, earth, this old three-dimensional earth that is broken. We need to create new systems outside of them. We need new healing centers, new educational unschooling. We need new ways of, of building homes and generating energy and clean technology and you know, art and um, theater that, that is free from the, the Babylonian money magic system, the preemptive programming, the agenda of the dark side. And as you begin to develop these eyes, you realize as you look out at the world, everything has been tainted, poisoned, dirtied by this, this satanic Luciferian influence that has been, and mafioso, black hand, that has been, creating and running our planet ever since the fall of Atlantis and Lemuria. 
That was, and that's why nobody wants to let you know the real history. They don't want to tell you about the existence of those places, which has become very obvious that they existed, because that's when we fell, and we fell completely. Got we 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 degenerated into a bad copy of everything. We lost our memory. We had our our, our minds swiped, you know, our memory swiped, our DNA downgraded, our, our infinite architecture, sacred geometry of the planet was co-opted, and we were we started the whole reincarnation, you know, um, uh, mind uh, uh, blank, you know, wiping um, type of uh, prison matrix where you had to come back to this planet, going through the tunnel, following the light, following the light. It's, it's deep. It's deep and dark. And um, what you're seeing now is it's coming. It's, it's touching our physical reality because it's turning into the obvious uh, artificial intelligence, smart hive mind manipulation from the, from the space fence that is around us and the 5G. So that's the story in a nutshell. But now people are starting to go, huh? You know, they're waking up. What's going on? It's been here. It's been here for eons, for eons, okay? But we just haven't seen it. You know, most most people haven't. I, I started to wake up to it, you know, every day a little bit more. And it gets to be good because once you understand the patterns, once you understand the agenda, once you've read the script, you know what they're going to do next. You know, you're just like, oh, my gosh, you know. You know what you're looking at. You're not taken by surprise anymore. And believe me, this is just the beginning of the pandemics and the control. The plan is just it's very dark, which is why we need to wake up and move in the other direction and move on to the higher vibrations of the love, light, frequency, onto the new earth and create things from that clean, pure space. But where does it start? Nobody wants to hear this part. <laughs> starts with you inside you which is why i am upgrading myself every aspect of myself right now physically mentally emotionally and spiritually and that's what you can spend this time doing if you if you're feeling bad about something fearful concerned angry helpless powerless examine it don't push it away let those feelings come up let them surface and go to the root of it why and i promise you it will go back to some childhood trauma because star seeds you were one of the most traumatized people children you had some of the most traumatic childhoods and believe me as a counselor as a mental health counselor as a coach as a psychic you know whatever hat i put on it was someone who's worked with people the most spiritually evolved people have the most traumatic baggage and background why it was it, it's part of the journey not only did the dark side want to throw everything at you to keep your life doused which a, a lot it, it worked for a lot of people but also you agreed because you agreed to take on this darkness to transmute it with love so that comes from from you you have to start with yourself you have to look at your darkness your biggest fears your biggest pain your biggest trauma you know what your parents did to you i've seen so much sexual abuse you know i'm dealing with a trauma that i had when i when i you know with my teeth right now uh you know just in in what it is is when they when you're traumatized at this young of an age it shakes your foundation it makes you feel like you're not safe like the world is you know out to get you like um you know you're vulnerable and so it keeps you from really moving into your power into your divine infant infinite self so you have to face your shadow self you know you have to look at your shadow there's a saying only a yogi can see their shadow you have to ha turn around and look at your shadow and love it embrace it and that's how you transmute it and that's the story so that's the job right now if you're if you're i see here a lot of people or you a lot of people are messaging me saying i'm so depressed i'm so upset you know people are desperate well that's good i always say that's a good thing you know and i'm i'm going through my stuff too and i know very spiritually evolved people who are going through their stuff that's a good thing if you weren't you would be pretending okay you would be part of the people who are walking around wearing masks and just saying you know as we say here in italia Tutto andrà bene. Everything's going to be okay. Well, you know, it's going to be okay if you 
if you do the work, it will be okay. But you have to purge yourself. You have to look at these feelings you're having, feelings of powerless, feelings that something outside of you is more powerful than you, feelings of where you gave away, you bought into this, the, all began from this one belief that God is something outside of you. Right there we have religion. You know, we don't need religion. <laughs> we don't need it. And no religion, too. We don't need countries. We don't need borders. And no religion, too. Imagine. It's easy if you do. Why? Because God is inside of you, outside of you, omnipresent, omnipotent in everything. And you're, you only answer to divine source, which you are, okay? So that's where the schism, the fall started. And then it, 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 it you know, came in also because we had intruders, not of this earth, they came in and, uh, you know, created a Luciferian rebellion back in Lemuria and Atlantis and caused the whole shifting of the polarities between masculine and feminine, the polarities of the ice caps, the whole destruction that, that sunk two huge, enormous continents. And it was also the infiltration of artificial intelligence. This virus, this is the virus that came in and ate up and overran the organic life forms that were in harmony with the law of one, all right? So we are all fallen. <laughs> You've just got to realize it. This is a fallen planet, and we too have that dark side of us, that ego side of us that is fallen. So your job right now, you can't. maybe you can't save the whole planet right now. Maybe that it's not supposed to happen that way. Of course it's not. It's an inside job. So you have to look at yourself. Where are you still buying into this old broken planet? All, every law, every, every religion, every um, educational system, every healthcare situa situation is inverted, corrupted. It's a bad copy of tr the true organic God aligned infinite structures. Okay. So <laughs> I know I'm just preaching right now. But um, but anyway, so it all starts with you looking into yourself. And if you're feeling bad, that's not right. I mean, I mean, it's okay. It's good to feel bad because then you know you're aware of it. But it's not in alignment with divine infinite. Because when you are in alignment with divine infinite, you are full of love and bliss and high frequencies. So when you're not, you need to examine it. Where are you, I say, giving the pen of your life away to something or someone else, some other belief? Because if you let God hold the pen, which you are, <laughs> you are the right hand of God writing your own story, it's a beautiful, expansive, spiritual, abundant, you know, love-filled, not fear-filled expansion of yourself. It's a story. It's a beautiful love story. The greatest love story ever told. Your love for yourself and God, because you are God. That's the punchline. <laughs> so, love yourself. Love every icky, icky part of yourself, you know. I'm getting new teeth tomorrow, and I always had a problem with my teeth, you know. And then I finally said, yeah, I just accept them the way they are. They're terribly ugly. And as soon as I did that, the opportunity came to change them. And, I, and that was when I accepted them. So, you know, when you accept your flaws, your imperfections, that's when you can love them and transmute them, all right? You transmute the lower vibrations, not by hating it, not by pushing it away, not by saying, God, that makes me so mad, I'm so angry, how come they're doing that, or how come I'm still fat or lazy or whatever you think you are, you know, sexual, that's not right, I should be ashamed of my sexuality. All these things were planted to divide you and keep you from your power. Love every aspect of yourself. These, you are beautiful. You are, you are infinite. You are love. You are pure. And every aspect of you, even your imperfections, are perfect. So just love them, and you will notice that that you will transmute them. You don't even have to push them away, or you know, think of. I've got to do that. I've got to diet. I've got to, you know, what, all the things that you are supposed to do to make yourself a better person. By loving your imperfections and accepting them, you integrate them. You become whole. You become holy. So love your imperfections and remember how powerful you are and how divine you are. 
And like I said, I probably won't be on Facebook much longer. So I, thank you to those who subscribed to my um, website. I'll be probably communicating more through email since I, I'm probably going to be have my account closed. InfiniteHuman.com, if you want to subscribe, I'll be writing out newsletters about what I said. And also, um, I still have a YouTube channel, <laughs> which is also on my website, Infinite Human Productions. So that's about the two ways I can still communicate with you guys. And um, please stay in touch. I love you very much. And um, this, uh, this is a good experience. So remember, first to work on yourself and then create a new earth as a divine infinite human. Love you, love you. Ciao for now.